adjectives to describe breast cancer. Sexy is usually not one of them. But Janae Veal wants to change that and inspire women facing cancer to see the inner beauty that no disease can take away. Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with her story. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Gervier. And you know, breast cancer really cuts to a woman's identity. And Janae Veal is a really good example of that. At 30, she was a fitness model who wanted to show the world how you could be really strong and still really feminine. And cancer changed her body, and it took away her hair. But Janae was determined that it would not steal her belief that she could still be beautiful. Today's my last chemo session. Woo I'm excited. I'm excited for the rest of my journey. After five long months of chemotherapy, this is it for Janae Veal. I'm just happy my hair is going to be growing back in a few weeks. <laughs> My hair is going to be growing back. I won't be as tired. Her final infusion at Georgia Cancer Specialists in Fayetteville. Oh, you mixing the cocktails today? I'm going to be real nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mom's working the camera. Oh, stop it. Restart it over. Wait. As Janae narrates for her blog followers. Oh, it's not bad at all. They just hooked me up through my port. This spring, Janae was working as a personal trainer and a competitive fitness model, pulling three jobs. I was busy all the time. I had no time to think. It was just always go, 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 go. When she found a lump in her breast, she was 30. It really didn't all come clear to me until, even after they told me it was cancer, until they said I was going to have to get chemo. That's when it all made sense to me like this is real like this is your life for a while now meaning surgery to take out the tumor and then months and months of treatment and tests three four times five times a week but instead of feeling daunted most days Janae feels hopeful I plan on going back to training my clients in probably three or four weeks. I'm ready. I'm super ready. I want to help people and let people see that your life is not over after cancer. Like, it can change you for the better like it's done me. A friend made her a t-shirt. I make cancer sexy. So I ended up cutting the shirt, of course, for the photo shoot to make it more sexy. I just feel like just because I don't have my hair doesn't take any beauty away from me. I actually been getting more compliments without hair than I had when I had hair. It's all about your confidence and how you carry it, not what you look like. And Janae hopes that people will look at her and see strength not sickness. It's a journey and it's a good one and I'm loving my life more than I ever loved it before. So I hope everybody has a great one. Stay faithful, grateful, and blessed. Wow. Janae is done with the chemo, but for the next five years she will be on hormone therapy to try to lower her risk of the cancer coming back. She has been blogging about her journey with cancer and we're going to have a link to her blog on myfoxatlanta.com. Gravier? She is beautiful. Yes. I tell you, yes. I loved her spirit. But gosh, she's so young. And usually we think about people getting cancer maybe with a family history. Did she yes. have any of that she in her family? She had no family history wow. whatsoever. They tested her mm -hmm. for the BRCA1 and the BRCA2 breast cancer genes. She did not have them. But she is a really good example of why doctors encourage even younger women mm -hmm. to do their monthly breast self-exam because you need to know what your breast feels like so that you know what's normal and what's not normal. Right. And because she was able to detect it in herself, get it checked out, her prognosis is now going to be very good long term. That's great. And I, I just love how she's trying to encourage other people. Yeah you know, just to, to hang in there. Yes. Thank you, Beth, sure. for that story. And just um, I want to tell you, too, that I spoke with a, uh, a physician just yesterday that showed women how to do a breast self-exam. You can find that link on our website under the Good Day Atlanta tab. Thanks again, Beth.